can't just accept it and say, oh, well, just because you've seen something in it, uh, the Bible's still bullshit. Great. Great. I, I allow room for that. Oh. Doesn't take away from the fact that all that, a lot of the things that I know, I believe, have come through my dealing with the Bible. But there's lots of other growth I've done outside of reading the Bible. There's things, you know, I've seen videos on YouTube. That's, that's helped me, you know? Maybe it is a, a certain reverence. Maybe I should start calling YouTube the Bible and Facebook, you know, is, 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 the, is the new book of life. Well, sometimes it's useful just to... Uh, Which it is, by the way. It, it's, 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 it's everybody's life in a, in a Facebook. Spend so time, it's the book of life. You spend time quietly on your own contemplating without sending yourself under. <laughs> you can, uh, you, you can, uh, can make a lot of it. You can, a lot of things can fall into place and start making a, a bit of sense. Well, that's and it. And sometimes yeah. that's that's all that you need. You, you know, you, it's all very well having someone with a, a moral compass to put you on the right track and stuff like that. But it's not always the case that those kind of people who can actually do that are around you. Mm -hmm. And if you're lucky mm -hmm. enough to have that, then, then you're lucky. Mm -hmm. But if, if not, then, you know, we need to have the security. That's the security that everybody needs is to know that at some point they can rely on themselves and have faith in that to make the right decisions about things. And sometimes, Finding that out can just be a matter of making the right decision mm -hmm. one time and knowing that it was the right decision. We well, don't think when people, it, oh, it, there's a certain amount of luck. When it's a hard decision to make, so, you know what I mean? Because anything that happens for us still, what, cause, I don't know, how, how do people analyse their life? What is life? Is it you're born and your mum and dad and they take care of you then you're in school and you're being educated you make some friends and then you leave school you do higher education and so on you get a job to earn money to buy cars to go on holiday you meet people you get new friends you get new girlfriends you get married you have kids you continue then you try to do the same for them then you get old then you, they have kids you grow old and you die right well, you just listed a whole whole load of things that people do yeah. through the course of their life yeah. Right, okay. But in between all of that is all the thinking that they've had to do about it mm -hmm. in order to make life better. To get to where they want to. Well, I don't know. It's like, you know. What do you want to achieve from life? It should be the question. But who's asked that question people, until they've been through life a, a bit and then realised I need to know? At the end of the day, you know what I mean? And that's unfortunately the position that a lot of people end up in. So mm -hmm. that's all that they can do. Do you think it's then? Because himself and 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 and. Because I had this this same discussion with Big D, and he's saying, you know, you got to do for yourself, and I saying, well, isn't that a bit selfish though? Shouldn't we be, you know? looking at the other and giving to the other because the real fulfillment in life is when we when we give you, you know when you've given to someone genuinely well, and, and it's been appreciated the socializing thing is 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 is, is, a, is about sharing who you are with other people and then appreciating who you are yeah and and, and giving credence to that because right. you're obviously all right to be with and all that and, and yet you know, but I'm talking about the the emotion of giving because when you give, there's the person who receives and they out. feel a, cer a certain it's amount smashed. of goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No. If someone came in here and you know gave you a brand new record, you'd be, oh, like thank you, totally out of the blue, unexpected. You'd be, you'd be appreciate that'd be genuine appreciation. I know you, and I think you genuinely appreciate that. And uh, likewise, the person giving it would feel a sense of warmth. And a good feeling, and this, that's the feeling that we need in the world. That that is a, a real sy uh, synergistic, symbiotic relationship. That straight away it, so it has build, meaning, you, you it has whole, value. You could build a whole radio station around that idea, and then and then hopefully people would start coming around and giving records. 
Yeah. Just so that they could experience that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it is better to give than to receive. It is. Especially when you know the cause is just. <laughs> right? And I think it, it's a good thing to take... You know, there's... Cain said, Oh, am I my brother's keeper? Well, listen, man. Come on. Are you your brother's keeper? Is he your brother? Yes. Well, do you take care of your brother? I'd ask most people with families, I'd ask parents, do you tell your brother, your children, take care of your brother, take care of your sister? Or do you tell them the opposite? So therefore, the question's been answered already. Humanity's got past that original question. I am my brother's keeper. Therefore, and this is why the system does it, this is why the government does it, they play big brother because they are your brother's keeper until such a time as you take the responsibility. And so people writing their notices, you know, to them and saying, oh, uh, this is who I am, you know, and I, I, I'm telling you, you have no power over me. Well, that's only part of the thing. Do you have power over yourself? Because if you don't have power over yourself, it's partly saying to them they don't have any power over you because in actual fact, if they wanted to prove how much power they've got over you, of course they could. Of course they could. So there's a certain amount of tolerance, isn't there? Being real for a minute and not being assholes about it, being real, they're, they're tolerating. The real dictator would, would chop your head off five seconds ago before you even asked the fucking question. He was watching you already and he knew you was going to go into that. Right? Real dictatorships versus the simulated ones we're being given, which will only lead us into panic and things like giving up our own rights so that what they can do to us. Yeah. It's like a test, man. It's, you know, it's a test. Everyone's being tested. And that's like, yeah, you, you laugh because it is a game. They love the chessboard, man. It's a game. And that's why in reality, not many people get to see my videos because the real deep down truth, yeah, which is deeper than the truth they want you to see, is revealed. Yeah? The deepest, darkest rules of the game. It's almost like, yo, we're up there, you know, with the angels and the demons, and they're having their discussion, and we overheard what they were saying and what they were going to do in order to test humanity. And we just sussed it out. You know what I mean? Maybe by accident, but we but we stumbled on this thing, and now it's a case of well, you know, we know that's that, but you know, play it down, man. Just you know, we still got some people to test there. They're not ready for that level of thinking yet. They have to pass through the fires. You can't just jump from A to Z. You have to go through B, C, D, and everything. Oh. We've been through it, Kev. So that's why you know we're able to discuss it and. You know, put it together. <laughs> oh, you're almost making me feel like there's a point to all of it. <laughs> there is. There is a point. There's a great point, man. It's great. If there, people only knew how great the point is, because before it can get good, like Haber said, before you can get your remedy, you have. They have to do the bad. Do you know what I mean? If the bad didn't happen, you couldn't get the good. You couldn't get the remedy. And those that think that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever haven't really got it yet. Well, they're struggling on the on the wrong side of, of like the bad shit. Yeah. You know I mean? and, 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 and <laughs> fighting, well, fighting, fighting. Every, everything is a fight for them, and that creates a certain emotion. Yeah. And that emotion itself can kill you. Yeah, but well, fucking hell, I know that. And I'm actually what I'm realising, especially about. How I'm feeling at the moment now that I've got my own space back because mm -hmm. the world just has moved out. Mm -hmm. Is is that I needed to have them there for a bit to make me appreciate what it is that I need to do because I wasn't doing it when the last lot of lodges just moved out. I was just yeah. flummoxed and at a dead loss for what to do. Fuck, I've got, I had no compass whatsoever mm -hmm. and. Now I realise that I value my time and what I'm doing is I'm getting on with the things that I need to be getting on with and, and because I've got bar another barrier there to prevent me from doing that and I come up against it now suddenly I've got this potential energy built up and 
Yeah. It's giving me the blueprint to do the shit that I need to do and stuff. So it's almost like you got to run up before you start to jump. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is start to see. Success comes from from saying to yourself at times, recognizing that you know you were you were you were right to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, you were right to do that. And you, yeah, rather than getting I, negative, I, I, it's I, an opportunity. I'd be grateful for when you, <coughs> when when it, and recognize when you knew what to do when when really you thought you didn't. Mm-hmm. And those are the times that really test you. When you you think I just haven't got a clue what to do, and then all you've got is your own judgment and fear of making the wrong judgment. Mm-hmm. And making the wrong call or doing things wrong. Mm-hmm. And bottom line is, without that fear, you wouldn't have made the right decision. <laughs> yeah, well, everything has its place. To a certain extent. But everything uh, in its right place is right. I think I take shit to extremes. <laughs> <laughs> but don't we all sometimes? And that's why forgiveness is a big part of it. And if, if we're trying to attempt to teach them, We've got to remember these same lessons because we've been wrong so many times in our life. And if, if we are severe with them, you know, just think about it. You, imagine you're talking to a two-year-old. How would you approach educating a two-year-old? Now look at the adult who's grown up a bit and doesn't look like the two-year-old. So therefore, your impression, your appreciation of that human soul has changed. Your expectation has changed. Yet... We're talking about a situation that may or may not involve childish behaviour and needs some kind of admonishment. Free will seems to be people's ability to cut and run, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You remember the times of innocent fun? The times when, you know, things, say, for example, were not so crass, so uncouth. Uh, you know, so raw and in your face. Do you remember the experience you had? And again, it, it to me it seems to be the the mass brainwash, which is the tell tell lie vision. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, to be honest, because of television, I feel in a lot of respects that I've lived. But I have. I've I've, I've, I've made sure that I've fucking had proper real fucking experiences that I mm. can believe in, you know what I mean? But a lot of us got shared experience, shared but life. But there's, but there's other other things that I've probably not done because of television, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? I might have all either done. But largely because of, of how it affects other people and how, mm-hmm. it, how it makes them perceive you. Mm-hmm. And you can see that in other people when they're like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Judging you or whatever or, or, or just coming with some weird vibe that isn't natural. Mm-hmm. Just fucking weird. You know what I mean? And that, that can freak you out, you know what I mean? And that's why I can totally dig that guy who walks up and down the street <laughs> shouting. Because yeah. because it's like What's wrong with you? Well, no, yeah. just, just... Oh, 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 almost like you oh, can see what's wrong oh, with the world and yeah. he's like, what the hell? Don't fucking bother me. Don't bother me with your pointless bullshit, man. Yeah. You know, like, I give a fuck about that thing that you're fucking bothered about. It, to me, is nothing. And um, you don't... If you knew that, you wouldn't think it. <laughs> you think he's one of the manic street preachers? <laughs> yeah. Might be if you tolerate this, then your children will be next. How much rubbish have we tolerated? And it's all been in well, your right. face. Well, that's right. and, and if it's that's been right. in your face like that, you've got to ask, and is this really, is, the, is it right. hiding it from us that's really the well, point? I, or is it like, well, wake and wake? I'm wakey. finding out first hand, and it's incredible what, what, what happens. But 